the JBL Tour Pro 2 are the first earbuds to feature a charging case with a smart display. Now the question is, is it actually useful or is it just a fancy looking gimmick? In this video, we're gonna take a closer look so that you guys can decide for yourselves. Now really quick, in case you missed my last few videos, I'm currently doing a giveaway here on the channel and I'm giving away a brand new pair of the AirPods Pro 2 as well as a brand new pair of the Bose Quiet Comfort 2, completely free. So if you're interested, the instructions will be in the description of this video. So the charging case basically acts as an extension of the JBL app and it gives you direct access to all of the features that the earbuds have to offer. So let's go ahead and take a look. In order to wake the display, you do have a button on the bottom of the case or you can simply tap the display and then swipe to unlock. So right off the bat, you have access to your ambient sound control. So you're able to switch between noise cancellation as well as the two different transparency modes. From there, you have custom EQ. So if you're the type of person that likes to adjust your EQ based on the music that you're listening to, you can easily make that change right here. From there, you have a timer option and this allows you to set a timer anywhere from five minutes to 60 minutes. You've also got the option to turn on spatial sound for which there's three different modes. You've got music mode, theater mode, and gaming mode. And this is not the type of spatial sound that tracks with your head movement. Instead, it adds more of a stereo effect and makes it sound as if you're at a live event. From there, you've got the option to control your screen brightness anywhere from low medium to high and you have the option to change your lock screen wallpaper and this is actually really cool because you can take a photo from your phone upload it to the case and use that as your wallpaper you have the option to turn on the voice aware feature so basically this allows you to hear your own voice whenever you're on a call by routing a portion of the microphone audio back into the earbuds themselves and within that, you can control how much of your voice you hear. So you can select low, medium or high. From there, you have a newer feature, which is called Silent Now. And this is designed to be helpful for those of you that may be traveling. So what this feature does is it disconnects the earbuds from Bluetooth and turns on the noise cancellation. And it basically is designed to help you relax or take a nap. And what you can do is actually set a timer. So for example, maybe you're about to catch a two hour flight. You can turn this feature on, set a timer for two hours. And what will happen is as soon as that timer is done, an alarm will go off to you know wake you up, maybe if you dozed off, and then the earbuds will automatically reconnect to Bluetooth once that timer is done. So it's designed to help you kind of zone out, relax, and also conserve battery life while using the noise cancellation feature. From there, you have access to the auto play and pause feature. You have access to notification and message preview. So basically, whenever you get a text message, you'll get a little pop-up showing you who sent the text message, as well as a very small preview of what the message says. Now, the thing about the notifications and the message previews is that once that initial pop-up goes away, it's gone so you can't pull it back up to see who just sent you a text or read any part of the message instead you just get a small message icon that stays in the upper left hand corner there's also the find my buds feature which allows the earbuds to make a very high pitched sound so that you can locate them in case you've misplaced them you even have a flashlight option which basically illuminates the entire display white to help you see in a dark area. And then you have your standard playback controls. So you're able to play and pause, skip tracks, as well as control your volume. So that's basically the case in a nutshell. Like I said, it gives you direct access to everything that you have available within the JBL headphones app. Now, when you're connected to your phone, it is more convenient using the case rather than unlocking your phone navigating to the app and waiting for the app to load to then change whatever settings you want. But I wouldn't say it's necessarily game changing. Now, when it comes to connecting to devices that don't support the app, that's when the case becomes a lot more valuable. 
So for example, if you're connected to a computer, you obviously won't have access to the app, but with the case, you still can change whatever settings you want. And same thing if you're connected to a TV. Maybe you're watching a movie, there's a lot of action, a lot of special effects. You could use the case to adjust the EQ or turn on the spatial audio for a better experience. Now to top things off, the case also allows you to accept or reject phone calls and the case even supports wireless charging. So when it comes to the overall specs, these are up there with some of the best earbuds on the market. They're running Bluetooth 5.3 and they do have a very stable connection. However, I will say there has been a few times where the earbuds randomly paused my music. So not quite sure what that's about or if it's something that could be fixed with a firmware update. These also support multi-point connection, which means you can connect to two devices at the exact same time which comes in handy as far as multitasking. And the performance is great. I mean, I've had no issues switching from a phone to a phone or a phone to a laptop. Very minimal lag when it comes to switching from device to device. As far as battery life, you're looking at roughly 10 hours on a single charge with an additional 30 hours coming from the case. With active noise cancellation turned on, those numbers drop down to around eight hours on a single charge with an additional 24 from the case. And these do support fast charging as well. So you'll get around four hours of use from just 15 minutes of charging. And they have an IPX5 rating. So they're not exactly waterproof, but definitely water resistant. So let's go ahead and talk sound quality. So if you're familiar with JBL's typical sound signature, especially when it comes to their higher priced earbuds, these are no different. They're using 10 millimeter drivers and they have plenty of dynamic range, plenty of treble, clarity, plenty of bass as well, which JBL is definitely known for that aggressive bass, uh, especially if you tweak the EQ inside of the app. In terms of overall volume, these things get loud and actually I haven't put them past around 70%. That's been plenty for me and they actually have a sound limiter option inside of the app to help prevent you listening at levels that are too loud. Now they even have a new feature called Personify, which is basically a very detailed sound test that you can use within the app to design a custom sound profile just for your ears. So overall, as far as sound quality, especially with that custom EQ function, I would say that these have you covered. Now, when it comes to the active noise cancellation, these are definitely very effective. I would put their performance between top tier and mid tier. So not exactly the best of the best, but definitely better than average. And these also have adaptive noise cancellation, which means that the earbuds can adjust your noise canceling levels based on the amount of noise taking place around you. So no matter if you're commuting, if you're studying, if you're working, the noise cancellation on these is going to get the job done by far. When it comes to the transparency mode, these actually surprise me with how natural they sound. Now you have two different settings as far as the transparency mode goes. You have the aware mode and then you have the talk through mode. Uh, the talk through mode is supposed to pick up better on voices in case you need to have a conversation. But honestly, I can't really tell much difference between the two. Uh, when it comes to the aware mode, you do have an adjustable slider inside of the app. So if it's not strong enough or if it's too strong, you can make those adjustments right there inside of the app. There's also an option inside the app called personal sound amplification. And this allows you to adjust the left to right balance of the transparency mode as well as adjust the gain anywhere from 15 to 20 decibels. All right, so what you guys are listening to is a microphone test of the JBL Tour Pro 2. As you can see, we are outdoors and these earbuds are using a total of six microphones to capture the voice. So this should give you an idea as to how you would sound if you decide to use these for a call. So all things considered, personally, I like what JBL has done with the Tour Pro 2. Now, I realize that for most people, 
earbuds with a smart display charging case is probably overkill and that's completely understandable but if you're that person that likes to be on the cutting edge of technology then i would say that these are worth checking out so again don't forget to enter the giveaway if you're interested i will have the instructions in the description below and aside from that as always i'll see you guys in the next one